Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about the at content directive that's part of SAS. This is a way that we can pass a whole bunch of CSS to a mix in, to a function. We're going to be able to use a whole bunch of content at the same time. We can figure out dynamically what that content is going to be and then pass it along to the mix in. Now, we're already passing values to mix ins. So I'm using the same file that I used in a previous video for the at if statement. Um, here, what I want to do is I'm going to pass in several lines of CSS, not just individual values that I can use with if statements or set inside of here that I can dynamically pass up, but a big piece of CSS, multiple lines of CSS. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, quite simply, there's an at content directive that we add like this. This sits inside of the mix in. This will be replaced with whatever content we pass to the mix in. How do we pass that in? Well, it's not like this. It's not one of the parameters that are being passed into these variables. What we do is we add an extra set of curly braces after the call to the mix in. Inside of here, I can put whatever CSS I want. So let's say I put a border on the right hand side, one REM solid blue. We'll do a cornflower blue. That's one I like. Down here, we'll say we're going to use a color. We'll do chartreuse. There we go. And just to add another line, let's do a filter on this one. So we'll do a blur filter, and we'll set that blur filter to 4px. There we go. Now, these two lines right here of CSS will be passed to the mix-in called big, right up here. and in place of this at content directive, that's where they will be written. So the mixin generates the font size, the transform, and whatever's passed in content, and then spits that back to here. So inside of here, inside of here, wherever we're calling that mixin, the different values are being passed in. But here, I'm saying this is the content for this paragraph, this is the content for the third one. So if we look in our browser, there we go. The blur is being applied here. The chartreuse color is being applied here. There's that border. This was flipped upside down, so the border's on the left side, not the right. But this is how the add content directive is working. Now, one more comment here about variables. You can see here I'm putting a value inside. If I were to declare a variable somewhere in my file, I, I can even go up here to the top. This is a good place to put your variables. So I'm going to create a variable called blur, and I'm going to set it to 4px. Inside my mixin, I'm going to create another variable called blur, and I'm going to set this one to 12px. So I have two variables here called blur, different values on them. Let's go inside of this one. So this will be the bottom one, the one that's not rotated. And we're going to add a filter here, blur and it's going to be the variable blur. Okay, so the bottom one is getting a blur now. Down here, we're not passing a blur. We are passing a blur here, but we're not passing one here. There. This is being blurred by the 12 pixel. This one's being extremely blurred. This one, here, let's make this a 1px blur so you can really see the difference. So there's the one pixel, there's the 12 pixel blur. If I change this to use my variable from up here, we'll put this one to the one pixel as well. This variable we're going to use right here. There we are. So I'm putting the variable here, blur, but then I'm passing this up here to be used inside of this mix in inside this content directive. So Blur, blur, same name, very different values. And we can see that the 1px is winning out. And that's because this is going to be a local variable which is going to be interpreted at the point where this is running. The content directive, this content right here, is determined before the mix in gets called. So that 1px that we defined up at the top this is going to be the 1px value. This variable is the global one right here, this 1px. 
That's what gets placed inside of here. All of this content gets figured out, passed up to the mix-in, and it's placed here. This variable would be used anywhere else inside this mix-in that we want the variable blur to be used. So this one is for inside of here. This one is being used inside the content which is generated before the mix-in gets called. And that's it. So I hope that makes sense to you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.